someone who is very goal oriented. Like I set goals for a ton of areas in my life for many years. I would set goals for the grades I wanted in the school, the weights I wanted to lift in the gym, the revenue numbers I wanted to hit in my business, all kinds of stuff. But over time, what I started to realize was that whether or not I set a goal actually had very little to do with whether that goal was accomplished. And you start to see that goals are useful for setting a sense of direction. Like they, they help you determine where should I allocate my effort and attention. They give you a sense of clarity. So in that sense, they're positive. But what you start to notice is that in many areas of life, the winners and the losers, so to speak, in any given domain, they often have the same goals. If you have 100 candidates apply for a job, Presumably, everybody has the goal of getting the job. If you have 30 teams that are competing in a league to win the championship, presumably every team has the goal of winning the championship. And so if the winners and the losers have the same goals, the goal cannot be the thing that makes the difference. Um, and so it may be necessary, but it's not sufficient. And what is sufficient uh, is having a system, which I would define as the goal is your desired outcome, the system is the collection of daily habits that will get you there. And what's interesting, if there's ever a gap between your goal and your system, if there's ever a gap between your desired outcome and your daily habits, your habits will always win. The outcome will not happen. Whatever the habits are driving you toward is the outcome that will happen. You do not rise to the level of your goals. You fall to the level of your systems. What that really is saying is that your results in life are often a lagging measure of your habits. Your bank account is a lagging measure of your financial habits. Your knowledge is a lagging measure of your reading and learning habits. Your physical fitness is a lagging measure of your training and eating habits. Even your clutter on your desk or in your bedroom is a lagging measure of your cleaning habits. And that broad idea that the results we have in life are a lagging measure of the habits in that particular domain or area, I think you can apply it to pretty much anything. And it speaks to why the system is more important than the goal because ultimately the system is what delivers whatever result occurs it's what determines whether you achieve any of the goals that you want and it, it's kind of strange actually because so often in life we say that what we want is a different outcome but actually the outcome is not the thing that needs to change like you might say you walk into your bedroom and it's really dirty and cluttered messy and you say i want to have a clean room i'm going to set a goal of getting a clean room and you might be motivated and work for an hour or two and clean the room up and you have a clean room for now but if you don't change the sloppy messy pack rat habits that led to a dirty room in the first place you end up with a dirty room again in a week or two days or whatever it is. So it's actually not the outcome that needs to change, it's the habits that precede the outcome.